Hey there student developers, Gavin Gear here from the Microsoft Imagine team. If you're working on mobile apps, I have great news. Azure Mobile Apps is now available as a part of the Microsoft Imagine program via DreamSpark. Azure Mobile Apps is a great integrated cross-platform solution for developing mobile apps that share a common backend. With Azure Mobile Apps, you get a lot of functionality built in, like single sign-on. Your users can sign into the service in your app using Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft account, and other identity providers. You've got cross-platform push notifications, offline data sync. Plus, for the client applications, you can use the language and the platform of your choice to build these applications, including C-sharp cross-platform solutions via Xamarin. What I want to do is show you just how easy it is to get started with Azure Mobile Apps by giving you a quick start guided tour. Let's do this. So I'm here at the Azure homepage. I could just click on portal here to go to my account. Now I'm going to take you through this process from the very start. We're going to click on new, web and mobile, mobile app. When that's done, we'll give this a name. Gavin Gear to do. We're going to do the to do quick start. Use my trial, default resource group, pin to dashboard, create. That's good. And when the creation of our mobile app is complete, we'll see the settings for it open here. We can also get to it from our dashboard because we chose to pin it to the dashboard. So we're going to click on quick start here. You can see here we have a bunch of different languages that we can use. I'm going to use Windows, C sharp. We've got a few things we need to do here. The first is connect to a database. Since I don't have one, we're going to actually need to create both a data connection and a database. So there's a few blades we need to click through here. I'm going to call this to do list DB. Pricing tier. I'm going to choose free since this is just a sample. And then we're going to configure our server settings. Gavin yeah, here to do. That's fine. And hit OK. Now at any time we can view this status area here and it's going to give us an idea of what's going on. So we're going to hit OK here. OK there. Now, when the creation of the data connection is done, we can see that up here in our status. And then we can close that blade. So we've completed the first step, which is to connect a database. The second step is to create a table API. I'm going to use Node.js. We can also use C Sharp here. We're going to overwrite data here, but we don't have data yet. So obviously, that's not an issue. And then the last step is to download the source code. So after we click on the download link, we're going to get a zip file. We need to take the contents of that zip file and extract it to the local folder system. Then we can open the solution in Visual Studio. So we're going to extract the files. Then I'm going to open this in Visual Studio Community 2015. OK. So I've got the project open. The first thing I'm going to do is to build the solution. When the build is complete, I can just hit F5 to run the app. Now I can insert to do items. Feed the cat. Got that. Feed the dog. Maybe even take out the trash. Okay. Now we can see these items populate over here. Now if we kill the app, then rerun the app, we're going to see these items populate from the cloud backend. This is great. The next thing we can do is to make the Windows Phone app the startup project. Now if we hit F5, we're going to build and run the Windows Phone app in the simulator. Now 
Now we can see the items that we added from the PC app here in the same place. So we can see that the data is updated in the client app when we run it multiple times. But we can also use the Azure portal and Easy Tables to very quickly and easily inspect the data on the back end. Let's check that out. From the portal view for our mobile app, we can scroll down in settings and we'll find Easy Tables. Clicking on that, we're going to be presented with an option to click on a table. When we click on the table for our quick start, we're going to see the individual entries that we created when we ran the app. Very cool. One of the great things about Azure is that it's fully integrated with Visual Studio. So if we want to view this data and change it, we can use the SQL Server Object Explorer in Visual Studio, including the Community Edition, which I'm going to show you here, to very easily access the data, view it, and edit it. It's going to automatically synchronize with our backend. Let me show you that real quick. To open our project database in Visual Studio, I'm going to click on SQL Databases. Click on the database in question, and you'll notice when that blade loads, we have this Open in Visual Studio button. When we click this, we're going to get the option to open it directly in Visual Studio. Notice here that you have to configure your firewall, otherwise Visual Studio won't be able to connect to the database. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. When Visual Studio launches, we're going to be prompted for the credentials as we set them up in the portal. I'm going to go ahead and click Connect here. And when Visual Studio is finished synchronizing with the database, we can expand our database node, todo list underscore db in this case, to reveal our table, dbo.todo item here. So if we right click on this, we can select View Data. When the table data populates, we have a very similar view. It looks just like Easy Tables from the Azure portal. But here we can edit values. So we can take out the recycles instead of taking out the trash. All right, back in our other instance of Visual Studio, I'm going to switch back to the desktop application. And if I hit F5, we're going to see that data reflected. There we have it. Take out the recycles, not the trash. Very cool. As you can see, Azure Mobile Apps is a very powerful mobile app platform, but it's also very easy to get started with. If you're a student that's a DreamSpark member, make sure that you have a current Azure activation because that enables you to get your hands dirty with this technology today. If you're a student without a DreamSpark account, go to dreamspark.com. It's really easy and it's free to sign up for. That will get you going. I don't know about you, but I'm going to be busy for a while with this technology, so we'll see you all later.